Hi and welcome to this nice tutorial. Um, today we want to initial uh, a spheric lens and also uh, uh, optical source and then we using the optimizer yeah, to optimize our optical setup. Um, what we will learn here now, yeah, like I told you, we will have the spheric lens, then the light source, then we do all the definitions in the optimizer and then we have different parameters what we want to optimize, for example, like we want to have a very nice homogeneous um, uh, out, output and what else is needed. Um, just um, a little, some mathematics. Um, for this example, we will using this um, aspherical, aspheric um, data and math um, just to have in mind um, here, this is this is the um, conic constant, um, R is the radius, and um, all um, all the terms of R is there are the terms of the aspheric term. Just have this in mind. Then thank you very much, and yeah, we will have some hands on. Hi everybody! I just opened a new thread file, and the first step you you can do is click right click and then create a custom element um, this we need for doing our specific um, surface um, I will call this a spheric lens spheric I just click OK and now we get here this spheric lens part then also right click and then create a new surface um, now um, this is just at the moment this is just a plane and and we're going for the standard um, aspheric and here we see now um, all the parameters we can choose um, I did a pre-selection of some of the values I will recommend like for the radius um, 8, for the conic constant I put um, minus 0 0.733, for R1 uh, I just put in uh, power minus 1, and for R R4 um, I put 2E two, two minus 5. Now maybe this is uh, too much. Uh, one e minus four. This should be fine. Okay. Then the next thing is um, we have um, uh, we have to select our material because at the moment um, uh, the spheric lens is just um, looking for um, for the uh, yeah for the light. That means like this material one is where the light has come from. That means like air is fine and we want to assign um, a material B and now we, are, we can select all the materials we have in the material folder. If you want to have another material just right click, create new material and then you can also add new material. I just go for a standard glass and then uh, make sure to assign this to material B. Okay next thing is um, there is some trimming and um, you can trim, you can do a um, aperture. Um, also, we have to select. Um, yeah, we have to make sure that this uh, that, that we are selecting the right. Um, for my example, I use 20 and set direct 30, and then just click apply. Okay, now this is very big. Just zoom out. Um, uh, it looks a little bit bulky, but this is just uh, my settings. Because I did my settings um, to trace this very fast. If you want to change this, um, you can go on Tools, Preferences, Visualization, uh, and I selected here fast. Uh, you also can do, um, can also change this, um, and you yeah, make this more smooth, more nicer. But this, it, this doesn't matter for our optic simulation. This is just a 3D view. Okay, um, this is. At the moment, this is how we are um, uh, we are adding this um, 
air object. The next thing is we are adding the optical source. Just right click create optical source and I'm going for the um, point source because I want normally you have some LEDs and then uh, because why you use atmospherical lenses normally you are using it for yeah, um, adjusting or collimating um, rays yeah, um, and normally there are LEDs but for our example just a point source should be fine okay um, we will go for I think 30 degree like um, this is the this is the angle you're seeing here and uh, the power power one is fine um, this is the number of rays I don't know like 10,000 and here you can choose your color I, I really like the red one and also your wavelengths this should be fine and also can you know, I can change this um, the name of the source but this should be fine like, like maybe uh, 30 degree Okay, just click apply and yeah it's based in front of here and we are very close uh, maybe switch it a little bit back uh, just right click uh, position orientation and then right click here append um, shift in set direction minus 10 apply you see it shifts now back okay um, also we will add an analyzing surface um, that means like and you go on the analyzing surface, right click, create new analyzing su surface, and we will switch this up and also set the direction. I don't know, let's try 45. Okay, now it's based here, and uh, should be fine. And you can uh, do this manually um, the sizing of the um, surface, or um, you can just let it like this, and it will collect all the rays what hits this um, uh, plane. Like, just click OK, and now we have um, yes two options. Um, this one we can calculate um, all the rays without drawing, and this one we calculate the rays with drawing. Just we go for the calculation with drawing. Okay, uh, that causes a problem. That means normally this is now not up. Um, this is absorbing. Just have a look on the surface. It should be on coating and control, and here is absorb applying. Um, please make sure that this transmitting assign and also here transmit specular assign and then apply and let's try again okay, here we go now this looks quite good this looks already quite good and it was quite a fast simulation here you see this, um, how fast it was okay just click on analyzing um, irradiation speed function analyze and here we go here is at the moment our yeah, our uh, yeah, our result and this means like we have here in the middle a very big peak and um, and the background is not uh, not very let's say not very um, uh, not very good and also we can visualize this with right click show invisible show in visualization view and smooth it a little bit and then we can we will have a look on this I also can do this without the race okay this is now it this was um, our first result and now we want to use the optimizer to um, yeah to optimize this whole setup what we got here because we want to want to do this more homogeneously and want to change the parameters um, just click on optimize define and edit and here you can use your um, yeah, variables and for this we will use the surface here and just make it a little bigger okay then you're going for you have now different um, parameters and I will go for the curvature because the curvature is one of the more, most important thing I open this um, that you see this um, you see this be better okay and also you get your already the core value 
Um, this should be fine. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, make sure um, um, of the make sure of the index. This one is if you have a line like this, um, thread counts like um, zero, one, two, three. And this this means you have to choose here like uh, zero for the for the curvature. And now also you can uh, get your value. That means right click and um, retrieve current values from documentation. And normally this should be um, uh, one divided by eight. This should be yeah, should be fine. Zero dot one to five. This is fine. And now we have to select our upper and lower limits. Um, I will go for lower limit. Uh, let's say just leave this as a lower limit. Zero dot one to five. And oh. lower limit um, zero dot one to five, and the upper limit this should be zero dot two. And now we have our first um, very, very variable. And for example, we want to add this um, coefficient of the of R four, for example. Then we just go um, second time here. And we're using uh, um, the S. this aspheric even constant, it, this aspheric even power coefficient. And now I told you 0, 1, 2, 3. That means like. That. Okay, here we go. Now um, we will select our uh, um, lower limit. For example, like this is 2e minus 10, and the upper limit is like 0 0.0002. If you're not sure about your um, uh, lower and upper limits, just um, um, have a look before what values make sense because this is uh, very important. Um, then for the next the merit function operations, um, we can be using uh, this is the this is the aim what we are optimizing. It means at first we are looking for the surface we want to analyze. This was analyzing surface on the back, and then we are looking what we want to optimize. That means like I want to optimize, for example, for irradiation irradiance peak to valley to have very homogeneous okay and then click okay and now if you're starting the optimization um, now just an optimize optimization and now you see on the right side it's um, changes uh, it changes already the um, the outside, and you get a new result. Just um, click on. Uh, also, it's it's here in the, in the optimizer. This is the output result we get now, and also we can uh, we can have a look on the new. Now it's yeah, it's way more um, let's say homogeneous. Um, also, I can add another um, another um, um, value what we can optimize. For example, uh, I want to optimize like not only the, the peak to valley. Uh, all, I also want to optimize, for example, for have a lot of power. Uh, so it's like, for example, go for total minimized power on the surface. Total maximized power on the surface, and also you can weight this. Like that means like this is very important, 20, and this is like not that important, like five. And you can click apply, and then uh, run the optimization again. And you see already there are the uh, it changes what it what it did. Uh, yeah, just calculate so like again. 
analyze the um, radius and speed function. And yeah, which it has more power, but not uh, not that much homogeneous. Yeah, you can uh, also play around with all these parameters, and but please make sure that um, yeah, you have the right limits, otherwise um, there should be no good results. Then thank you, thank you for joining, and uh, thank you for joining, and see you in the next movie.